food and diseases food food is our basic need we cannot live without food we eat food to stay healthy but often we desire to have junk food items like pizza burger soft drinks etc junk food creates a want in us when we see it and makes us feel hungry but it is not good for our body nutritious food items like milk vegetables fruits eggs chapatis rice etc are the need of our body we should avoid eating junk food items as they may cause many health problems remember to remain healthy eat what your body needs not what you want as you know food is essential to live and to keep us fit and healthy a balanced diet healthy environment and proper exercise keep us healthy balanced diet balanced diet in your previous classes a balanced diet is a combination of different types of food which give us all the nutrients our body need these nutrients are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals water and roughage components of a balanced diet no single food can give you all the required nutrients in the right amount you must eat different types of food to get all the essential nutrients carbohydrates and fats are energy giving nutrients carbohydrates give us instant energy food items like rice potato wheat and sugar contain carbohydrates fats give us energy butter cheese nuts ghee oil etc give us fats but too much fats are harmful for our body proteins help to build our body they are helpful in making the skin muscles and blood healthy they also repair damage in our body we eat fish meat curd milk cheese eggs nuts pulses and peas to get proteins proteins are called body building foods our body also needs vitamins and minerals but in a very small amount vitamins increase the ability to fight against diseases minerals are important for our growth and development we get vitamins and minerals from fruits and vegetables we also need sufficient water and roughage for our body water is extremely important for us about 2/3 of our body is made up of water fiber called roughage is the indigestible part of our food fiber helps in digestion of food many vegetables and fruits such as grapes mangoes cucumbers cabbages and lady fingers are the good sources of roughage junk foods and their ill effects the foods that are high in calories and low in nutrients are called junk foods junk foods contain large amounts of fat sugar and salt eating one type of food in large quantities may not be beneficial fats are stored in the body and a diet rich in fats such as fried food chips junk food noodles fast food burger pizza etc eaten regularly may lead to fattening and being overweight such a condition is called obesity ways to make diet more healthy there are some ways through which we can make our diet more healthy sprouting ask your parents to give you a handful of gram chana seeds wash the seeds in running water and hand pick any other impurity that you may find 
put the clean seeds in a bowl and fill the bowl with water so that the seeds are immersed in water. Leave the seeds in water overnight. In the morning, drain out the water and cover the bowl with wet cloth. After about 8 to 10 hours, wet the cloth again and keep it overnight. Next morning, when you remove the wet cloth, you will find that a white hair-like structures are grown from the seeds. The seeds are said to have sprouted. In case you do not see the sprouting, cover again with wet cloth and leave the bowl for another 12 hours till you see the sprouting in the seeds. You can repeat the same activity with moong dal, lentil and observe the sprouting. The sprouting seeds, whether chana or moong, can be washed and eaten as a snack after mixing salt according to taste. You may also ask your mother to cut some onions and tomatoes into small pieces that you can add to the sprouted seeds to make it more tasty. Fermentation Fermentation is the process by which the microbes break down the complex sugars into simple compounds like carbon dioxide and alcohol. Fermentation changes the product from one food to another. Cheese, bread, yogurt, chocolate, vinegar, etc. are all produced through the process of fermentation. Diseases related to unhealthy diet and lifestyle. Unhealthy diet and lifestyle can lead to several diseases like diabetes, obesity, anemia, blood pressure, etc. Diseases, symptoms, prevention, diabetes, weight loss, tiredness, slow healing sore or cuts. Eat foods high in fiber including fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains and nuts. Exercise regularly. Avoid eating too much sweets and chocolates and food rich in carbohydrates. Obesity, fattening, overweight. Avoid foods that are high in calories. Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Do regular physical exercises. Drink water rather than beverages. Anemia, weakness, tiredness, fatigue. Eat a balanced healthy diet rich in iron and vitamin A. Avoid drinking tea and coffee. Blood pressure, dizziness, profuse sweating, bleeding from the nose. Eat a healthy diet and low-fat dairy products. Reduce salt in a diet. Deficiency diseases. When our food lacks a particular nutrient, we become victim of a deficiency disease. The disease caused by deficiency of a nutrient is called a deficiency disease. Malnutrition. When people do not get sufficient food to eat, they become weak. Such a condition is called malnutrition. Lack of proteins and energy-giving nutrients in a diet results in protein energy malnutrition. Mostly, poorly fed 
and starving children suffer from protein energy malnutrition. The two most common forms of protein energy malnutrition are Quashur Kar and Marasmus. Quashur Kar Marasmus 1. Caused by deficiency of protein 1. Caused by deficiency of proteins, carbohydrates and fats 2. Symptoms 1. Swelling of body 2. Dark and scaly skin 2. Symptoms 1. Loss of weight 2. Ribs become very prominent 3. Thin limbs and arms 3. Usually occurs in children between 1 to 5 years of age 3. Usually occurs in children up to 1 year of age 4. Cure A diet rich in protein 4. Cure A diet rich in proteins carbohydrates and fat. We should always eat a balanced diet containing all the nutrients in the right proportion to prevent deficiency diseases. Food Adulteration In our daily life, there are so many unhygienic and contaminated things that affect our health. Of the many things that are contaminated, even the food which we eat is adulterated. The deliberate contamination of food material with low quality, cheap and non-edible or toxic substances is called food adulteration. The substance which lowers or degrades the quality of food material is called an adulterant. Food is adulterated to increase the quantity and make more profit. Food and some common adulterants. Various types of adulterants found in the food items are given in this table. Food, adulterant. Milk, water, starch, skim milk powder. Ghee, vanaspati. Flour, Bengal gram flour. Pulses, metanil yellow to improve color. Edible oil, argimon oil, honey, jaggery. Know this, soya bean contains 50% protein of its weight.